versus Uther. I will fight with honor. You asked for it. So a little bit of uh, Casino Mage. As you can tell from my rank, I already played a few games. And as you can imagine from my RNG, didn't really work that well. Um, but you guys usually enjoy when I'm screwed over by some RNG cards, so I think I can give it a try anyways. Here I would like to see something like Arcane Missiles or Flame Waker, like usual, the usual Tempo Mage stuff. Thing is, even if it's Redemption, I can't do much about it. Oh, it's Noble Sack. So, Master is a problem because it might kill the Mana Worm. But then this survives and I can, I don't know, develop the Mirror Entity probably. Hmm. One, two, three curve for him. With three being Master, that's pretty good. Um, well, I guess I could Frostbolt one of them, but that's pretty excessive. I want a mirror entity. Yeah, let's see if we can get something better. Yeah, I need this for the next turn. That's pretty good. Or actually, I can just play it this turn. Uh, it's worth keeping this guy around. <clears throat> pretty good turn. Pretty good draws also. Might have been a good mirror entity turn then. Hmm, this is three, this is four, so I probably would have to trade. Most of the time I would have to trade. Huh. Or a frostbolt mirror entity or arcane intellect and see what happens. Well, let's do it this way. Maybe I can kill whatever comes out here. Yes. No. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's like the one in four RNG roll. Not, not to my favor. Um. I think I have to kill this though. Spell damage. If he runs consecration, can kill both my guys. Probably runs this into anyways. Um. Also, there might be something to kill this. He runs abusive or something. Uh, it's probably not really necessary. It's playing around edge cases basically. I'll never tell. If I hit the the RNG hit here, oh wow! And this survives, then I can play both these cards. Can all of these cards? And then I get a bunch of missiles and a mirror entity. And another hit to the face. Oh, well, this sucks. Probably repentance now. This is so ridiculous sometimes. Um. Don't want to trigger Avenge. Might have been competitive spirit also, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. <coughs> and he wants to do this trade, obviously, because I'm still threatening and stuff. Okay, never mind. Two pretty bad Flame Waker turns for me. Even though it did a lot. Okay. 
Guess develop developing this is good. He might also run. Uh, he was pretty low curved so far, so he might run Divine Favor, so it's good to get the counter spell out. Also, get it, not drawing it helps. Uh, this would have been a pretty good counter spell. This might actually be a challenger that he's afraid of playing because he doesn't want to give me a 6 6. Yeah, that's good. You can play a spell or play a minion now. <laughs> that's pretty good for me. It actually was a challenger. Nice. Even though it doesn't do much for me because he still has all the secrets available. Other than repentance. So I don't even know if I want to attack something here. Well played. Not really. Oh shit. Forgot about competitive spirit. 9, 11, 13. Needs 2 damage. Probably another true silver from hand. Almost. But I still don't have enough hits to get rid of this board. Okay. It's getting interesting. Okay, I probably need a taunt or something. Or maybe a you know, vitality totem, maybe. From this. That's neither. Stop asking That's a target. Uh, actually. 4, 10, 11, no. You see, um, if the Flame Waker hits better, like twice, then... Especially the first one on the Thalnaos, then, then I get a really good foot on the board, then I still have the Solstice Apprentice, then I can play all my spells in one turn, get six missiles out, and develop a bunch of cards. Well, well. Nah, not really. This loses to minibot and all the other stuff. Yeah, that's way better. But the most spectacular game I had with this deck was my um, spell slinger giving my opponent a mind games that he casted turn 4 and that got him out my, I don't know, 1 in 14 Ragnaros. And then I played against turn 4 Ragnaros, that came from my deck. The game went on for quite some time, because the Spellslinger gave me a master for battle, but it was still pretty ridiculous overall. Uh, this is so slow. I need to develop the secrets, I feel. Also, maybe this counters turn 3 master, if it gets out the counter spell. Which is, of course, a 50-50. I need to kill this. And Flame Waker is better turn 5 with something like Missiles or a Cane Blast. Or even a Frostbolt. That's exactly what I was talking about. Like, I wanted to counter this, but 
50-50 lost. And now I kind of need to play this. Otherwise I just ping one of these. And I need to prepare it. Okay, it's a mid-range paladin. Of course, with Sami Chao. <laughs> After I lost the 50-50 here, I lose the... Uh, God. Yeah, it's just... I don't know. Zombie Chao isn't bad here, to be fair, but... Could've been a lot better, and it gave him a slow turn. It probably shouldn't be that salty. Let's see what weapons we get. King's Defender. Uh, as long as I have a mech, that's pretty cool. I'm ready. So I have a 7 and an 8. Um, I need something good for the next turn. Looks like missiles and playing something. Why is he so eager playing this this turn? This looks weird. Could just play it next turn with hero power. Especially if he leaves this up. Um, this is too risky. Or is it? Not really. I can always ping. Ah, uh, almost. Turns out his weapon is way better than mine. <laughs> now that my mech is gone. Okay, so it's mid-range, so it's no challenger this turn. Might be... If it's my last, then yeah, just to get true hard. Which is pretty good against Dr. Goom, actually. So maybe I just trust bolt this. The one attack weapon is probably best against Paladin. Even though, well, it's two guys now. But this means that the multi-shot will probably hit something. <sighs> of course. To do this, and then I can play the counter spell. Which is my second secret of... <laughs> Killed the best target on the board. It's really a lot of RNG things that can go wrong here all the time. Look at this. I should probably stop playing this. I have one. I don't have enough mana to do everything I want to do here. Why even bother, I guess? Try to do it this way. Like, I can kill one of them with fireball, and then the other one lives anyways. Or I can try to... <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I'll just make this an, an RNG compilation for you guys, I guess. Look at this. Yeah, look at this. Great. I don't even have to kill this. It's out of board space anyway. 10, 14... At least the multi-shot went right, but it's still too much. I need exactly my second flame maker, then I play arcane intellect, and then I draw arcane missiles. That's, uh, come on, dude. Really? Flame Waker. God damn it. Missiles. Well 
<laughs> okay. This is really not a deck that I should be playing. It's just for your entertainment. It's, it's not not even serious climbing anymore. Might be my turn three. Oh, nice. It's like it starts as if I was Tempo Mage and then everything goes down the road. It's not even that different, but. Hmm. It was actually really huge to draw the, the Mana Worm. Pay Center should be a bad matchup though. Interesting. Could try to play around a weapon, but I don't have a next turn anyway. But drawing 7 and 8 at 3 mana is pretty unfortunate. I guess I'd rather play this and develop this minion, uh, this secret, before I draw into it. Counter spell is pretty bad. I lost the 50 50 because he has coin, so if he's smart and plays the coin now or whenever before he plays a spell. Maybe that's the best way of just going for it. Like pushing the mana worm further. If he wants to remove it with his bow, he needs... Um, takes more damage, and he took more damage this turn. Okay. So there's the counterspell coin. Which we... Uh, Totally expected, and juggle on this. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be playing anything, really. Oh wow, he didn't keep on the end. Uh, if I frostbolt this guy, I expected a young dragon hawk, but. This might help. Even though it interferes with my 7 8 curve a little bit. Maybe I draw something useful. This probably qualifies. Actually, it's. 6, 9, 12, no. I think I value- oh. Oh, whoops. Uh, I think I value the, the Divine Shield more. Actually, 9. Uh, this might matter. Probably Owl. The one mana I got from the Arcane Golem didn't matter this turn. This is his random spell. Nice, giving him more options. Expect kill command. Shit, so if he was at 9 I could deal 9 and would win. I'm so stupid. Hmm. 
Hmm. Could I draw into something? I played both frost balls. Um, maybe missiles. Nope. Okay, I probably lost this to my own stupidity. Oh, look at this. Second kill command out of the first half of the stack. Great. Well, never mind. We'll see tomorrow with a serious stack. <laughs> bye bye.